yo yo people welcome and welcome back to run stack hub and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to change the hard drive or ssd in your ps4 and also how to clean it so these are the things i think we're going to need in general so obviously the power cable hdmi cable for the ps4 we're also going to need this device here so i can connect my hard drive to my laptop these are some of the things that i think we'll need to be able to get this job done so here i have my one terabyte hard drive i'm going to put back in this is a 32 gigabyte memory stick which i'm going to put the operating system or the update file back onto this is my iFixit kit which i'm going to use to open the ps4 a pc this is just a basic laptop just so i can and copy the files on there my ps4 of course and because i'm going to be cleaning it i'm going to be using some spray dust I've, i found the cheapest one on ebay or amazon i bought that one but i might also make use of my henry hoover henry has never failed me it's been solid so far it worked really well with the xbox one s so i might use it for this as well let's get started right so the first thing i want to do i'm going to take the hard drive or the ssd bay off and i'm going to clean under there easiest way i find to do this this is probably the only way simply pick the playstation up like this so with that black part facing away from you, you're going to use your thumbs to simply push down. So you're going to push downwards on this. And then you're going to just push outwards as well. So push down, then push out. So once I do that, this comes off, put that back down and I can get this off. Just wiggle it off. It will come off quite easy. And that's it. So as you can see, this is full of dust. Again, this is not my PlayStation 4. I got this from someone. I used it for a while at my school. So now I'm cleaning it so we can sell it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some wipes. I'm going to grab myself some alcohol wipes and clean as I go. So to simply wipe out as much as you can, everything that you can get to. These are Clinel alcohol wipes, so they do have some moisture in them. So be careful when putting this back on, it might still have some moisture. So I'm gonna leave this to dry before I put this back onto the PS4. This is the Hoover here. This, I'm using this tip here because this will make the suction a lot better. You can use this one here. There's nothing wrong with it, but if you add a smaller nozzle, it will pull air better, I find. So let's get started. What I like to do when I'm cleaning stuff like this is I grab myself an old toothbrush and I'll simply go over this just to make sure I've loosened up any dust that might be trapped somewhere. Now step two, I'm going to switch out the SSD I have in here for again a one terabyte hard drive. I switched this out before but because I'm going to be selling the PS4, I'm going to put the one terabyte S hard drive back in and save my SSD. So to do this, you need to remove a single screw to remove the hard drive from here. And the single screw is this one right here. Let me come closer. That's the single screw that you'll need to remove. It looks like a Phillips. I'll just grab a Phillips from my set. Now this is not in order so don't worry about that. I'm going to grab a Phillips, test it in there. That one seems to hold perfectly fine. So I'm going to grab the screwdriver itself. And and again, all you need to do is to take that one screw out. So I'm going to unscrew that one there. To get the hard drive bay out, all I need to do is to pull this towards me. So I need to pull that way. And that's it there. As you can see, there's quite a bit of dust in this one. So I might have to grab Mr. Henry Hoover to clear some of this. Now, the next step is to put the hard drive back again. I already had an SSD in here, so I'm going back to a traditional hard drive. However, if you have a traditional hard drive and you want to make the system a bit faster, the games load a bit quicker, you want to go to an SSD, the process is going to be exactly the same. So if you follow this process, you should work for you perfectly fine. So I'm going to remove the cage from the SSD and put the hard drive back into the cage. To do that, you're going to need another Phillips screwdriver. The one that you used before might work, but I just went one size up. I found it was a bit better for turning. So again, I'm going to remove one, two, three, four screws from here and then I can put the hard drive back in. Really easy on yourself so you don't get anything confused. Look at the pins or the connectors on the SSD or the hard drive you have. Match them up to the one that you're replacing it with. So for me, this is the SSD I'm replacing with the hard drive. So this hard drive is going in. Look at the pins, it's lined up. We have the smaller one on the left and the big one on the right. So I'm going to simply slide this one out. So again, once you've removed all four screws, you should be able to slide that out. And again, small on the left, big on the right, and slide that one in. And all I need to do at this point is to put the screws back in and then put this back into the PS4. After doing my hoovering, I'm going to wrap a plastic, so this is just a plastic opening tool. I'm going to use the same wet wipes I've used before. I'm going to kind of wrap the plastic tool inside the wipes because I don't want to pull all of this off. I'm going to simply reach under with the tool and the wipes and simply wipe. 
what this will do this should clean out any extra stuff that the hoover didn't get even though i think it got most of it to be fair this back into the ps4 again this part with the connectors needs to be pointing into the ps4 so again it needs to be like this so the connectors are here point it into the ps4 and simply slot it in you're going to push until it goes in quite tightly and then the screw hole needs to line up with the screw hole on the ps4 so i'm going to push that on and the screw i took out earlier which was this one here i'm going to put that back into that same spot so it holds the hard drive in place so once again this here is a screw I removed earlier and it's now back in. Once this is done, I can close this area and move on to my next step. I'm gonna put this cover back on now. So again, this is the hard drive bay. I'm gonna put the cover back on and you cannot simply slap it on there. What you need to do is you need to go to the very edge because it does have this section over here that actually blocks you from slapping it on. Go to the very edge and simply slide it on. And when you get to the very end, you might need to hold at the other end of the PS4 and push it so it clicks in place. This is all plastic, so it should click in place. There's nothing else holding it. Next, we're going to remove the bottom of the PlayStation. Because I've already opened this PlayStation before, I don't have my warranty stickers. So I don't remember exactly which one of these, or it might be all of them, that's the warranty sticker. So there's a screw here, there's one here, and there's one over here to remove the bottom only. You can remove the top part by removing this one, but I don't think we need to touch that part just yet. I'm, I'm I want to see what the inside it looks like first and if i need to then i'll replace this one the screwdriver bit i'm using for this is a torx one but i cannot see this for the life of me so let's see here we go what does that say that says torx i think it says i think it says torx t9m or t9h my eyes are really bad so bear with me so that's the one i'm going to use to remove the bottom of the ps4 Once the screws are out, you need to lift off the back, the bottom of the PS4. You simply, I, I just lift from here. It's the easiest place to lift from. It should just come off relatively easily. As you can see, I just lift from the grooves. Let me show you one more time. The groove that runs in the center of the PS4, simply lift from there in multiple locations and it should just fly off. This isn't too dirty. I think most of the dust was contained on the other side because even if I look at the CPU fan here, it looks pretty all right to me, but I'm still going to give this a wipe down. I'm still going to use the Hoover. And if I can get under here to see what's under there, I'll do that as well. This section here, this is the power supply. So as you can see, the plug that goes into the PS4 that powers it, that's the double pin thing there that goes into it, right? Which means that this whole section here, I'm guessing is the power supply. Please, 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 if you're not sure what to do, don't ever, ever, ever open this. Even if you've unplugged your PS4 for quite a while, it could be hours or days, there might still be some power in here because these capacitors that are in here take a very long time to discharge. So please, please, please do not open the power supply. You can remove the power supply but once it's been removed please don't open it i'm going to be removing my power supply just so i can see under here just so i can give it a good hoover as well so to remove the power supply you're going to need two different screwdriver bits you're going to need a phillips so that's the four-way one and you're going to also need a torx so the phillips you're going to use for this one here and this one here with two little metallic bits pointing inwards in the ps5 so they're pointing in that way you're going to need phillips for that one phillips for that one and then the other three things you're going to need to remove are one two and three but for some reason these are torx don't know why but phillips first for these two then torx for these three here keep in mind that the thing that's pointing inwards will come out when you remove the screw as well now i need to remove one two and three to get under the power supply to remove the power supply because I can see the connector cable on the left hand side here. I'm making the assumption I can lift from this direction. So I'm going to lift from the right hand side and put it over this way so that the connection cable isn't moved too much. So simply put your hand under here. I'm going to just lift at different places. So I finally got my power supply out, but please when you're removing yours, be very careful. I was correct. You do have to lift it in this direction. So again, this is the right hand side of the console where the power cable goes in. Lift it up from direction you might hear a click you should be okay but just be super careful and try not to put your fingers around this side here if i show you what's around this side i can see a capacitor there you don't want to be touching anything inside of this so be super careful all i'm going to do at this point is probably put my hoover my henry hoover on the other end of this to hoover everything out and maybe put some air through here as well to blow everything out <laughs> To be 
fair, I would say I didn't even need to open this part because the bottom of this PS4 looks very, very clean. Even when I was dusting just now, I think only a few bits came out. And as I said earlier in the fan, there's not much in there. I'm still going to do a nice quick hoover of here, uh, but I don't need to remove anything else. Some of you guys, if yours is really bad, what you might have to do again is get that toothbrush. And this is where a lot of that buildup might be. You might have to scrape some of that dirt off from here and then hoover that as well. You might, some of you, have to take the cooler out entirely and clean under the cooler and maybe even repaste the CPU. <laughs> this stage i think i'm just going to put the power supply back in put everything back together go onto my computer and show you guys exactly what you need to do to update or to reinstall the operating system so let's go to put the power supply back in i'm going to do the opposite of what i did before again i'm going to try my best not to touch or let my fingers go on the inside so i'm going to hold the outer parts let me just bring this closer hold the outer parts of the power supply put it up like so and again be very careful of that cable that goes onto the motherboard because if that gets damaged you might be in a world of trouble Simply let that fall down. Yeah, that's back on and I'm going to put the screws back in. Let's see if I can remember this now. So again, the torque screws goes one, two and three. So that one over there. So again, torques, that one at the bottom, the one on the left hand side and the one on the right hand side at the top. And for these two, that's where you have that weird metal shape thing plus the longer screws. So after we've put those three torque screws in, so again, one, two, and three, I'm going to put that weird shape looking thing, the metal thing back in that slot there. And again, please keep in mind the bit that hangs out needs to be pointing inwards. Then I'm going to use that long screw and put that down there. And I'm going to simply screw this in. Same thing on the other side, put that weird looking thing back in first, because that needs to be pointing inwards. Then I'm going to put the screw in. Last thing left for me to do is to put the back or the bottom back on and then put the screws back into this. And the way this worked before, I lifted from here. So because that part came first, it now needs to come last. So you're going to work in the opposite way. So let me pull this down. I'm going to do just like I did before. I'm going to use this piece here to hook onto that piece there. So it's, it, it's kind of shaped like this. I'm going to use it to hook onto that piece there like so. So tilt it up, put the front on first. And then I should just be able to press on the very back part here and that should just click into place. And from here, I should be able to screw straight in and I should be done. So let's try that quickly. For this back part here, you will be using the torque screwdriver. For this back part here, you will be using this tiny torque screwdriver and the torque screw, obviously. I'm going to put the first one in on the left hand side here. First one seems okay. And that should be it for putting the PS4 back together. As I said before, the next step is to have the operating system reinstalled. So I'm going to go onto the computer and show you the steps you need to follow. The next step is you need to get yourself a USB memory stick or, or a hard drive or anything that you can plug into the PS4. I have a 32 gigabyte memory stick here. You can use anything above one gigabyte should be fine. I'm going to put this link in the description so you can go there and download the file you need. And for me, I'm going to scroll all the way down to this section here that says how to reinstall the PS4 console system software. And I'm going to click on the one that says PS4 console reinstallation file. This is being done in December 2024. So by the time you watch this, it might have changed, but you're going to need the reinstallation file because you're reinstalling the operating system. I'm going to click on that. It's going to start downloading here. And once that finishes, I'm going to plug my memory stick in and then show the following steps. My download has finished. I'm going to plug in my memory stick to my laptop. You're going to hear the Windows connection sound. Perfect. I'm going to click on this to open it. I'm going to go to my file explorer down here. I'm going to go to this PC. Then I'm going to click on the one that says PlayStation. Now this might be named something else or whatever you have it named as. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to delete this file here. On my memory stick, I'm going to right click on a blank white space. Go to where it says new and then choose folder. And this needs to be labeled PS4 and the PS needs to be in caps lock. I'm going to press enter to confirm. Then I'm going to go into this folder so I can double click or I can press enter to go into it. I'm going to do exactly the same thing again. Right click on a blank white space. 
go to new then go to folder again and this one is going to be called update and it's going to be all uppercase again so press enter to confirm and go into this folder again from here i've opened my downloads folder on the right hand side and my memory stick on the left hand side and all i need to do is to drag this file from the right hand side to the left hand side you can right click and copy as well and then you can right click on this side and then choose paste it does exactly the same thing and the file you downloaded earlier which is called ps4 update.pup i'm going to drag that to my folder on the memory stick and let go once this is finished we can plug this memory stick into our ps4 hold the power button down and it should come up with some options for us to reset the ps4 so you need to plug your usb into the playstation and what you need to do from here is press and hold the power button until it flashes two times press in and hold in now first one comes on it's a first flash second flash there and on my screen this is what will come on the tv once you've turned the playstation on so now i've plugged in my ps4 controller via the usb cable and really and truly the only option you have is to reinstall the software because again this is a brand new drive click on that move over to ok click on that after that i'm going to click on yes here it says the ps4 will be initialized all users and all data will be deleted definitely want to do that you have to do it anyway click yes once this finishes you should be loaded back into your ps4 operating system so you can log into psn and download your games and here we are we're back into the ps4 operating system and i only need to connect the dualshock 4 controller and i'm good to go so thanks for watching